in some of that morning sun. Good morning and happy week six of the challenge. So today I woke up a little extra early. Um, got to see the sunrise, of course, pretty. And then I was actually baking a bread for a loaf of bread for someone. And it was my first time ever trying it, ever trying to bake sourdough bread. And it looks good. I don't know how it tastes because it's obviously whole right there. So can't wait to see how or what she thinks of it and if it's, you know, it's good. And what to correct because it's such a cool skill to have, I think. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'll show you the loaf and we'll get on my first today. Hey guys, so it is week six, uh, Thursday of week six, I believe. So I'm more than halfway through, yay. Um, but anyway, today we are going to go through a workout and then um, right now I just wanna to talk to you about kind of like what my breakfast was um, and about 70 grams of potatoes, raw form, then cooked. Um, and then about nine ounces of ground beef, raw form and then cooked. Um, and then just salt, of course, and um, still roughly the same meals. We just, we enjoy simplicity and um, like sometimes I'll get, do some fun things with like maple syrup, heavy whipping cream and all the different op um, options. But we've been pretty simple. I like it. It's easy quick I enjoy it um, but yeah so I'll still have my yogurt bowls we just added kefir um, and you know how I, t I said I made someone some sourdough bread um, and it's from fermented like flour I was like I think I, I should I think I could make like my own kefir so like buy the kefir grains and use like raw milk um, so that whole process of making like the starter of sourdough bread really, really is like intriguing me to do um, my own kefir because we've been drinking kefir and it's super good for your gut. There's a ton of probiotics and um, just a lot of um, good stuff to kefir. And if you could make it at home from raw milk, oof, that'd be good. Um, I've only had from low temperature processed kefir and like normal kefir as well. Um, and so I'm gonna add that to the toolbox hopefully and that'll be great. I'll definitely have to tell you how it goes, if it works out, if it doesn't, and if it does I'll definitely be sharing it here. So stay tuned for that. Um, but anyway, let's get into this workout and thanks for watching.
Alright, so for my cardio this time, I did some swimming. I'm gonna preface, I am not a swimmer. I don't know how to swim properly. Um, but we're trying. We're trying to get better. Um, I think it's a really good form of cardio. It's really good on your body. It's really good for your shoulders. Um, as I mentioned before, I have a problem right shoulder, and so this is hopefully going to help strengthen it. Um, and yeah, so I do put it on normal speed, and then I also, um, as you can tell, it goes on like really fast. And that's at like 1.5. Uh, but anywho, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day or night, and see you in the next video. And hopefully as time goes on, I'll just become a better swimmer, so stick with me there.